I'm here with the site crew at Comic-Con. Welcome back. Thank you. It's the third year you've been on that couch. Thank you, Miles. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> I think your impressions are still there. I think I feel it. I think this is where Roday was sitting last time, though. It's warm, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, no, I think I was in the center last time. You were over here, so we yeah. mixed it up. My so cheeks don't, it, The cheeks don't really sit right, you know what I mean? I know what you mean. It's not really my cheek. Enough with the cheeks. Big news. Season eight, is it going to be the last of Psych? People want to know, I want to know, I think you know, so tell me. We want to keep doing this forever, and ever, and ever. Until we're 93, 94. Because it makes sense. At least until they stop, they stop paying us. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been thinking that it was our last episode since about the middle of season four, so we're surprised every week when we show up and they're, they're, still, uh, they're still keeping the show going. So we're going to take it as long as it'll go, as long as we're allowed to go, and uh, we're going to ride this horse until it, until it dies, and we're going to grab the reins, we're going to drag it. See, I know you're trying to be slick, because I know that you like to call me the loose-lipped one. <laughs> Don't think that I didn't see that. Oh, because I know you're breaking Don't news now on Twitter. <laughs> which is that Nicole <laughs> Brown on, on, on site. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for that. So don't think that I'm going to sit down here and, and just spill all the beans. I'm not going to say anything, RCL. I'm not going to be loose lipped. You're the me. actor on the reporter. Let's just remember our roles. <laughs> Anywho, we, we were under ouch. strict orders not to say anything about casting. Day one this of one. musical. No, picture no, of in, Ali Sheedy. In my defense, <laughs> Ali Sheedy on In my on defense, team. it never got to us. It never got to me anyway. It's not until <laughs> actually I took the picture and I tweeted it. Then Steve says, oh, we're not supposed to say anything. <laughs> well, who was going to tell me that? You know what I'm saying? You know I tweet all the time. Just for the record, I'm still sitting here rolling through all the different loose lip jokes that I could be doing. Restraint. <laughs> but I'm choosing not to. Restraint. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, let me ask you then. Yes, Michael. At some point, you're going to need to know if season eight is it, because you're going to want a script appropriate farewell uh, episode. Yeah, that would, obviously, that would be. Uh, and you're midway yeah. through season eight now, yeah. shooting, so you need to know soon. How do you know? How do you know we're midway through? I know things. You <laughs> tweeted it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I think we're all pretty confident that uh, after such a long haul, that the network will do us do us right and give us the opportunity to, you know. Send, send ourselves and the fans out properly. Okay. So. And remember, Magnum P.I., end of season seven, everything was wrapped up. What happened? Season eight of Magnum P.I. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I have, I have these two guys dying at the end of every episode just in case. And here's what I'll back. tell you. As soon as I know, I'll tweet it. Yeah. Great. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk season eight. Maggie Lawson has another job. How is oh that going to impact Juliet? We're going to see less of her, obviously. Uh, that's just because she lost weight. <laughs> and actually, probably see more of her because she'll be on two networks now. Yeah. We're going to see less of her on Psych. Yeah. Ah. On <laughs> How are you going to get around that? Is is that part of why um, you brought in an Oscar-winning actress? We've we like nature in Jurassic Park. We find a way. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there, there, there's, uh, there's a lot of creative ways to get around it. I think we found a pretty nice way to sort of accommodate both schedules. She hasn't started her, her new job, so we've worked it in. She's in a, a good chunk of the episodes. And we found a fun way to, to, make, it, uh, to, to make it work. But it uh, certainly creates interesting challenges. And uh, I think we've worked our way through Strong it. Strong Juliet presence in season eight, no question. And, and the uh, Oscar winner, though, hasn't, is not replacing Juliet. Yeah, nobody replaces... It's a new character on the show. It's nobody puts replacing. Baby in a corner, and nobody replaces Detective Juliet O'Hara. So it's not a straight recast. Brand new character, right. completely you different had energy. You me believe it was. Different, different everything. Okay. Yeah. And also, Despero survived? Oh, yeah. How did that happen? <laughs> Despero's Despero. Mm. He does whatever he wants. How do you pull off that trick? <laughs> Well, we actually see in the in the third one, Indiana Sean and the Temple of the kind of crappy, rusty old yeah, dagger. Like, he sees we see he faked his death and all that stuff, yeah, and he and he takes off. Yeah, so he actually you saw him walk away. You would know that he's still alive. Miss that episode. And we bring Carrie back in the most fun way. Well, tell me how. You know what? I know I know what you're trying to do right now. See, you think I'm the loose lipped one. I'm gonna sit here and just spill all the beans about how does Despero come back. I'm not doing it, Ocielo. I'm not loose lipped. I don't care what you say. So how's it coming back? Well <laughs> <laughs> And what kind of havoc is he gonna wreak? It's it's great because we actually there's a, there's an interesting turning of the tables with the Despero character. And we can at least say that he wreaks havoc in a different country. Yes. We're doing an, a London-based episode, which is the perfect mashup of 
Guy Ritchie gangster film and Harry Potter. This, which are two things like, like chocolate and peanut butter that needed to be put together. Mm -hmm. and you get to see Dulé Hill in, uh, in, in a London costume in London. Real London. Oh, please, you know, you know the budget don't of our show. Well, we didn't leave the, the confines the affairs, of downtown so Vancouver. Come on. Be going all over the place. <laughs> green screen? <laughs> we don't. Okay. Yeah, there was some green screen, sure. <laughs> a couple signs, <laughs> don't get couple signs that say, welcome to London, right in the middle of downtown Vancouver. <laughs> we couldn't even afford green screen when we started this show. <laughs> we're, making, step up. we're making strides. Come on. We got, we got one London cab to drive around the back. Mm -hmm. We turned the traffic around one time on a one-way street. Mm -hmm. We do have we do have a nice assortment of British actors though. Yep. Yes, with absolutely. real accents. Yep. Real, yeah. genuine, authentic. Authentic, yeah, the real yeah. deal. Benedict Cumberbatch. We didn't get Benedict, but we got the next best thing. Who is? It's Olivia Dabo. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> we got Big Vinnie Wonder Jones. Fan here. Yeah. Vinnie Jones is in the episode. Oh, mm -hmm. Don't know him. Really? I'm young. You shouldn't. Know, you shouldn't. He. Not my generation. He's in all those guy <laughs> guy Ritchie films, and he used to be a soccer. Don't go player. to movies. <laughs> <laughs> Vinnie Jones, as his his most famous move as a, as a footballer, is reaching over and grabbing a guy's nuts and squeezing them as they uh, while they were out on the uh, out on the oh, field. Oh yeah, okay. So yeah, now now oh, we got it. Just don't know. <laughs> Thanks guys for coming by. Yeah, Mike. Thank you, Mike. You're the best. Hi, I'm Allison Bridge. And I'm Joel McHale. And subscribe to ENT TV. It's just ENTV for all your entertainment news. No, it's E E N T V. It's just E N T V, so whatever. It's E N E N T E V E. Unless it conflicts with any thing, channel or company we work for. I'm Alvin Brick. Signing off. <laughs>